I am with, in uh, London, England now. Jonathan Comerford here. Comerford here. Comerford mm. here. Um, hey, Cape hey. Town raised uh, artist, printmaker, living in London for some years now. Yeah. We met at uh, Peacock Print Center in Aberdeen, Scotland, 1987, and he's uh, he's working on uh, some lino cuts here. I'm, I was invited by him to uh, do a new lino cut. I haven't yet begun drawing, but I showed him uh, these proofs I had here of uh, the lino cut I did last year. Uh, I actually drew it a long time ago, but I didn't cut it till last year of Robert Desnoe, the French surrealist poet and anti-Nazi resistance artist. You have some feedback on the imagery here. But yeah, yeah, like I was saying, Ken, it's the key um Having known your work for so many years, uh -huh. in terms of what you put into it, um, in relation to not only print but text and story, storyline, uh -huh. the initial view of, from my point of view, um, in looking at your work initially, it looks very busy and there's everything all over the place and there's ways in which one can look around the work in it and through. But initially it's just sort of a, a real mishmash of so-called images and text and writing. But the more when speaking to you, like enlightening me about this, this, this surrealist poet who, who died in the Holocaust, immediately the image starts appearing. Uh -huh. And your pieces start then being, uh, being coming into context. Whereas initially, I think for most people, your work's very busy and you've got lots of things going on. Um, and underlying layers of, 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 of text and, and images uh -huh. that now, as I was saying to you earlier on, the more I look at the work um, and in discussion to the way you cut it, mm -hmm. you, you have a particular style of cutting in relation to the drawing, uh -huh. the figure starts appearing much more readily. Yeah, I'm going to just cover this to give it, leave that out. That's so to get the, uh, um, whereas at first I just saw a whole, a lot of these textured pieces, the stars, the, the, the lightning bolts, uh, the movement were kind of overpowered, but then the figure slowly starts appearing. Uh -huh. Look at the work. Uh -huh. All right. I think one that goes into the text, which I, I've, always, I've always known your work about, mm -hmm. is always having this amazing text and storyline around the piece, uh -huh. which is very unique, yeah, exactly. you know. Um, that inscription there, yeah. So, I think, uh, yeah, we're going to make an amazing piece over the next day or two as part of the Hargram Printmaker Sans Frontiers liner cut. Uh -huh. London collaborative portfolio. Okay. Which is A3. And I think, yeah, I think it, it's really about getting the drawing down and us talking and, and, and me providing some insight or knowledge of maybe technical things or encouragement to send mm -hmm. you that's at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. so, uh, to make a unique piece, yeah. uh, Very good, thanks. Uh, viewers might think that Jonathan is an MOT, but he's actually not an MOT, even, no. though, even though he has this kippah on. Yes. But, uh, um, a, so, so his initial, m m if I were to redo, like for a Saturday night skit, his his uh, initial observation about it being busy, it's like he looked at it and he said, Oi, vey, fuss is das. What is this? Oi, gewalt. Oi, gewalt. <laughs> what is a kiva up to now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, there, there we have it, folks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ta, as they say here. These oh. nutty Brits here. Inshallah. <laughs>